Hi folks, welcome to Carl's Vaping Reviews once again and welcome to the video. A uh, slightly different camera angle, I hope it's uh, not going to annoy anybody. Uh, but I wanted it to show off my uh, review t-shirt. As you can see more of my the back of my house as well now. Uh, thanks to Dougie Eccles for the t-shirts. I've got another one there which is the approved Vapors uh, uh, official t-shirt. Well, thanks for doing this mate, it's, uh, it's a great, great design and a lot of time went into it. But thanks Dougie. Uh, also, I need to mention all the admin team on the Approved Vapors Facebook group before I start because uh, we're all doing a sterling job on there, the admin team on there. The, the, the group is growing fast. And I must mention John Bold uh, of boldvape.co.uk, uh, Kieran Bold, who's a, a new member to the admin team. Welcome, Kieran. Uh, Stephen Donaghy, who does a sterling job with the comps and, uh, and all sorts of stuff like that. And... Uh, uh, we've got Alex Max, who does a lot of the digital design. Uh, brilliant stuff, Alex. Uh, did my uh, YouTube load, uh, header as well. Uh, we've got a new uh, a newish member, Dave uh, Brightwell, as well. And then we've got Chris Alex Lane Leonard, who does uh, the Approved Vapors official uh, YouTube review for on juice, hardware, etc., etc. Uh, I don't think I missed anybody. But thanks a lot, guys. It's been growing really fast and. Uh, really enjoying the ride so far. So, without further ado, let's get on with this uh, review. This is the the review for the Smock TF V4 tank. TF stands for Taste Furious from Smock, and it is a sub ohm tank. Now, this is the uh, single tank kit. Uh, it comes in this kind of kit, which is the single tank kit. I'll show you what's in the box and uh, on close ups when we go down, and. There also a, uh, there's also a full kit out which comes with uh, virtually all the coils, etc. and other bits and pieces. But they're having problems with that kit because of the TFQ4, which is the quad coil. Uh, they're having problems uh, machining it, making it. So we don't know what the delay or how long the delay is going to be on that. So for the, for the, in the meantime, there's just this <coughs> excuse me, single kit out. Now... I've got it on here, before I go through any specs or anything like that, I've got it on my IPv3 Ally running at 70 watts. Now, one thing to note guys with this coil, this is like the first of this type of coil that I've ever used. And it is absolutely fucking massive. It is massive. And it's as big as, it's as, big as my RDA, the actual coil in here. It's a 24 and a half mil diameter tank. Now, as you can see, you know, it sits on the IPV just about without any overhang. There's a light, slight bit of overhang on the side and on the front, as you can see there. So that may put some people off. Uh, I'm guessing now, but I'm guessing that Smock will eventually bring out a 22 mil version of this. They've got a 24 and a half mil for it to sit nicely on the X-Cube. But it doesn't really sit that nicely on the X Cube, in my opinion, because it covers the top of this. It covers the very top of the uh, screen on the X Cube. I've got an X Cube here. I'll show you in a minute. The X Cube Two, that is. Uh, but it's got a little bit of a rattle in it. So, but I'll show you anyway. Uh, sitting on the X Cube. Right. I'm going to have a quick vape on it, or a few vapes on it, just to show you the performance of this. Now, first of all, guys, with this coil. You must run it low on lowish watts. Don't sort of ramp it up to 80, 100 watts straight away. Uh, you know, leave, leave it, let it, let the coil break in gradually because this is a this is a triple coil in here, and the I'll show you the coil up close on the close ups. But it, each individual coil has its own individual slots, and it needs to be fully, fully saturated before you. Start even thinking about cranking this up above 50 watts because you will just burn the coils out and burn your cotton and then you, your coils are dead. And getting these coils at the moment, because there's only one that comes in this kit and it's the one that's installed in the tank, uh, you know, so that's just a forewarning, uh, guys. And I found the break-in time for this particular coil, because it is massive, uh, I found the break-in time to be about a day, day and a half before I was starting getting any flavour. I've been using this now for about two days now, 
and this is the kind of performance I'm only running at 70 watts at the moment And as you can see, stacks of vapor. This is only a 7030VG. It just has 70VG juice in here. But it, this will handle uh, the very high VG juices eventually when it's saturated fully. And I mean saturated fully. Just putting a few drops in here will not suffice when you are priming the coil. Uh, you need to really soak it. Uh, Put it, put your juice in, and let the tank sit for at least, at least a half an hour or so before you even try and fire it. Just let let it soak up first, and then start. When you start firing, it start at about 25, 30 watts. I know you're not going to get much vapor out of that at, the, at, the, at that range and what this coil's putting out, but this coil needs a lot of breaking time, and it needs to be gently bro broken in, in my opinion, and. I think Paul uh, Hussein Ramadi as well did a, a first look video of this tank and he's had the same experience too. Uh, so, and I must thank Paul H uh, Hussein Ramadi for that first look video as well. Now, what is it? Where can you get it? What it is, is a sub ohm tank, effectively. Uh, it's a 5 mil tank and it is a 24 and a half mil diameter. It is made of glass and stainless steel. It weighs 92 grams. It has a 510 thread. Uh, it has a resistance, the coil in here, of 0 0.2 ohms. That's made up of three 0 0.15 ohm coils. Uh, TF stands for Taste Furious. Uh, in the kit is included is the tank, the triple coil head, a silicon ring, and a user manual. And it also comes with a vape band as well, which is inside the box. Uh, the silicon ring sits inside here because it has an innovative feature of a top fill. And it's a good top fill at that. You just slide it open like so and fill it from the top. We'll go down for close-ups and have a look at it close up. Now, it has four airflow slots as well. And the coils that do that eventually will come out for this are the TFQ4, which is a new patented sub ohm atomizer, which it, which it houses a quadruple coil system consisting of 0 0.15 ohm coils. Uh, uh, that 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 will go from 40 watts to 140 watts. Uh, excuse me if I'm looking down. I'm just looking at notes on the uh, internet. Uh, the TFT3 coil, which this one is in here. Is obviously an, a, another patented sub ohm atomizer, a uh, triple coil head uh, of 0 0.2 ohms. Uh, I've already just given you the specs on that. That range from 40 watts to 130 watts, and this will go up to 130 watts. Uh, then they do a dual coil, which is a TFRT R2 rebuildable atomizer dual coil, which is the rebuildable head of 0 0.25 ohms. And the TFR1 rebuildable atomizer, which is a single coil of uh, 0.85 ohms. No, it's a 0.85 ohms. So, yeah, you know, these coils are pretty innovative and pretty new. I've yet to see any of the other coils. I've only got the triple coil to show you today, guys. Uh, it has a drip tip on here, which has an airflow system attached. Some people like that, some people don't. And height wise, what is the height of it? I can't remember what the height was. It was a uh, height is 70 millimeters uh, in height, and it, <laughs> it, it does weigh, I mean, 92 grams. It's quite a hefty atomizer. You don't want to be dropping it on your toes, put it that way. Uh, and it's a really smart looking tank. It's got the, the smock is engraved in it. I don't know if you can see it on my video there. We'll go down for close-ups anyway. So we'll have one quick vape on it. Again, excuse me. What's in the news, Robbie, from Grim Green? And then we'll go down for close-ups.
So we'll see you down for close-ups, guys. Right, guys, here we are, close up with the Smock TF V4 at this Sawroom Atomizer. And this is the packaging it comes in. Quite a nice packaging. It's uh, similar to the X-Cube 2's packaging. Uh, we have the, uh, what comes in the kit. This is, as you can see, this is denoted by uh, the single kit with the triple coil and the tank. And there's some more branding. And then we have specs on the back. You can pause the video to have a look at this. I'll slide it, you know, I'll, I'll move it up so you can have a look. There we go. There's the uh, barcode, serial number, etc. And there's the function 3 0.15 ohm coils, uh, stainless steel, etc. So, what we'll do is we shall slide that off, put that to one side. Then you get your normal, usual smock uh, branding with the CE markings on the bottom, etc. Take that off, and then we're greeted with a bit of silica gel. We don't need that. And then this is the uh, tank, and what you get in the kit. Uh, you get a, uh, let's take it out one by one. In this bottom section here, you get a spare top silicon ring. As you can see, that's where your fill hole is. And you get a, a vape band with smock on it. Quite a sturdy one. If you're into that kind of thing, uh, we'll lift the tank out. And then underneath, you get a instruction manual with how to fill, prime, etc. As you can see, and then it's showing you on the X cube two, on there. So we'll put that back in the bottom. Uh, one thing that doesn't come in the packaging, which I thought should be included with more or less every sub ohm atomizer now, is a spare glass. Uh, that's just my opinion, but I think that uh, you know that uh, these type of tanks should come with the. Uh, spare glass sections in every tank really uh, we'll put that back and then we'll put the box to one side let's be tidy call so what we'll do is we'll go into manual focus for this and then i can show you better there we are so what we have first from the top to the bottom we'll go from the top we have an innovative drip tip We'll take the drip tip off. Now it is, uh, it has airflow control and there's four slots on it. Now what's different with this one is, is there is an internal chamber in there. So the airflow comes up separately from the vapor in this drip tip. And I'll show you that now because this drip tip screws off for cleaning purpose. And there's the, that's your vapor duct where the vapor comes up through there and then your airflow will come up the side of this and in, in, you know when that's on like so the airflow will come in through the uh, hole and up the side of the outside of that chamber so your vapor and your air will only mix once it reaches the top of the of here so that would that enables the vapor to stay warm until it reaches your mouth. Uh, that's why that's uh, designed in that way. So that's the drip tip. And it's a quite a nice drip tip. It, it is quite wide though it is with my SpongeBob ruler. Approximately 14 mil wide across there. So that's the drip tip. The innovative, as you can see, it has a uh, an arrow and a hinge and what we do is we flick it and then that is your silicon ring that you saw in the box a spare one here and you fill down this kidney shaped hole here that is your don't put it down the center because that's that's the vapor channel and that will just flood the atomizer and come out the air holes at the bottom 
So it goes in the kidney shapes one there to fill up. And it's quite a big hole. It's quite a big hole. And it's uh, how long this hinge will last, you know, time will tell. But it seems quite sturdy. There's no there's no play in it as such. There's no not no not really any play in that. And then you just the silicon ring helps it stay shut. It doesn't click into place or anything like that. I would have liked a, a more solid little click into place or a lock into place, but it doesn't. I've never it's never come open on me. And then it, uh, we'll take it apart in a minute. We'll just look at the base first. And we have here. We get the lighting right. A uh, design by Smoke CE markings and a serial number of eight six zero one. And we have a uh, a pin, 510 pin there, which is, looks like a stainless steel pin. And it does sit slightly proud, but uh, I wouldn't go point it on a hybrid device. And then we have four airflow slots at the bottom. Big ones as well. Very big ones. Now these are roughly, this is only rough guesstimate, guys. Nine, no, 10 mil by... 10 mil long by 2 mil, 2.5 mil deep. So 10 mil that way, 2.5 that way, and there's four of them. And it's a really nice, it's not loose and it's not overly tight. Uh, some nice knurling going on at the bottom here to help you unscrew the base, which we're going to do now. But that airflow ring is really nice, and you can have it shut you know, right off to like pinhole size, if that's uh, the way you vape. And all we do is we hold the top, we screw the base off. Like, and when it's, it does get hold on by O-rings. Now, let's just take this coil out. This coil has been used. Uh, I've just dried the outside of it and washed the tank out. I haven't washed the coil out. The coil still got juice in. That, let me just give you a sizing. If anybody's got a Mutation XV4, look at the size of that coil. It's absolutely, it's absolutely humongous. Absolutely massive. Uh, let me just get another. This is a, this is, what's this one out of? Uh, no. This is a Kanga coil. Everybody's seen a Kanga coil. <laughs> That's a Kanga OCC coil. That is a Smock TFV4 triple coil. Absolutely massive. And in there, as you can see, it's like a barrel. And inside that barrel, it's three separate uh, 0.15 ohm coils, vertical coils with organic cotton. Uh, made, obviously, eventually into a single coil. In its ohms by 0.2, it shows 0.22 on the IPv3 ally, uh, but yeah, and it has. Let me just get my sponge bob out again. By six by six by two. Each one of them air, air wicking holes is six millimeters in length, approximately, and two millimeters across. And there's one, two. There's three of them. One, two, three. Yeah, there's three big wicking holes in there. That's I found that more than enough. And then you have. Let's just get in a bit closer. If I can. There we go. Smox. Uh, it's grey on grey, so you can just about see it. Smock's design there of the coil, in the logo in the brandy. And then uh, it tells you at the bottom. And get in even closer. See if I'm getting closer, guys. Show the, the writing. It's hard to see this writing. There's the it's a TF T3 coil. And it is shows you the wattages there. Up to 130 watts. It is. It's dead hard to see because it's it's written in sort of like an italic. But yeah, that's the coil guy. So let's just go back into autofocus for the time being. So that's the coil. Let me just wipe my hands a little bit on some kitchen roll because it's 
a bit juicy that coil is then we have the glass section which is held on the glass there's the glass it's a uh, quite a thick glass you know the usual really the usual thickness glass and obviously this glass is a bit obviously got a bit a bigger diameter than, the, than it would normally and these 22 mil atomizers has a translucent o-ring on the chimney here so be careful of that when you wash it and in here let me just get this a little pointer in here there's a black o-ring and that's like a, that sits on the side there's no o-ring on the base here it's just this side one at the top for the top section so but it is a really it is a tight fit so what you do is you push that on first before before you fill it well, i always put it on the top section the glass and then leave that to one side screw your coil in these coils are absolutely massive i think these coils must weigh about 25 30 grams you screw your coil in like so get your top section and your glass push it a little bit and then screw and then just tight enough don't over tighten them or you won't get it back off again and then there, there's your tank and then you put your you can put your drip tip on it's a really snug fit no no movement in that uh, other drip tips that's a plastic one a dalrim one fits on nicely all drip tips i've tried fit on nicely there's a vape life one fits on as well so you don't have to use the supplied drip tip if you don't like this one if it's a bit too wide for you but uh, and that's it guys that's the tank so what we do now to fill it is we flip it the way the arrow says like so and then i'm going to use one of these bottles and it has got quite a uh, a fat nib on it compared to uh, with these needle bottles and all they do is i put it to one side of the kidney there so there's some air coming out and also what i do before i fill it is i always close this up as much as possible the airflow at the all at the bottom the airflow ring at the bottom and then fill it up like so as you can see it's going in fill it up don't don't force it in just like fill up slowly it does take five mil and then oops a bit too much there there you go let's give it a little why obviously because i'm not watching properly and then once it's filled up we just close that off and then we can open the airflow slightly halfway say and there she's filled up that's filled up now so that's the tank that's the tank close up guys uh like i say uh what have i got here just for what everybody may have that is a kanga sub tank mini as you can see the mini looks like a nano compared to this so yeah and there's the that's the base of it so there you go guys so that's the tfv4 guys close up so we'll go back up to the top we'll have a vape on it again rate it and uh, have a little chat about it so we'll see you back up the top guys hi guys welcome back uh, up to the top hope that you got everything you needed from that close up from the tank it is a cracking tank i must admit it is a cracking if you can get over the 24 and a half mil uh diameter i mean it looks good on box mods you know we it won't look so good on on most 22 mil tubular mods like you know your mechs and stuff uh but for for box mods it, it does look okay uh let me just show you i've got it an x cube 2 here uh it's still got a little bit of a fault with it at the moment but uh i just want it just going to use it to show you what it looks like on the x cube 2 and you see how you know it's been designed for the x cube 2 but it still overhangs that screen slightly on the x cube 2 
uh, but it, it does sit flush on the box because the box mod of the X Cube 2, the width of it in that is 24 and a half mil. So it does sit uh, nice on the X Cube uh, on the front as well. It's still got a tiny little bit of overhang though. You know, I, 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 my guess is that Smock will, will, the market will force them into making a 22 mil uh, device. 22 mil one of these uh, but I've just got it on my IPV at the moment now so let's scrape back on here obviously I've had this like I say guys so let me just stress this this coil needs proper priming before you start whacking the wattage up on it because if you whack the wattage up on this and it's only been priming for a few minutes uh, or even you know just for, just five minutes or so it needs it's going to burn it straight away uh, and you need to break it in gradually as well even when it's primed you know start about 30 40 watts uh, for you know for you know an hour or so I know it's not going to be great but it, it, that's the breaking time that this this triple coil needs and in my experience of using it that's what I started at uh, I got good flavor from it not it's not great vapor but start at 30 40 watts guys and then ramp your way up slowly throughout the you know 24 hour period uh, of it breaking in because it does need some breaking in i'd like to say i've got it at 70 watts so you know let me just take it down to uh, 50 watts for you uh, on the ipv there we go 50 watts Let's just close our airflow up on the uh, drip tip. There you go. Airflow was wide open on the on the bottom, but closed on the drip tip. Not you know, there's still lots of vapor. Not great vapor. Not great lots of vapor, uh, but the flavour's still very nice. Seventy dirty juice again. This is from uh, RSV Vapors. Uh, just trying his strawberry cream cookie from Rob. Uh, it's really really nice. So, I mean, I've broken this coil in now, but you need to do that for you know a couple of hours or so at fifty watts or, or 40, 50 watts. Uh, let's get some. Let's get it back up now. I'm going to ramp it up to. 85 watts 85 watts then because of that, I I couldn't normally vape at 80 watts or 85 watts. It's really, really too warm. But because you've got an inner duct and an outer duct in the drip tip, uh, I mean, if you've got the top, uh, you know, if you're going about 90 watts and over, you really need the airflow open on the drip tip slightly. Uh, but because of that inner duct, you get like a coolness and the hot vapour mixing together as soon as it comes into your mouth rather than it mixing inside the drip tip first and it's it's quite strange it's quite a strange vape at first but you get used to it that's with the uh, drip tip wire all half open so i'm gonna i'm gonna fully open the drip tip now so everything's fully open drip tip airflow bottom airflow and I'm going to ramp it up eventually to, and I've never vaped at 100 watts. 100 watts. Let's just see if you can pick the screen up. Let's just go into manual focus. Come on. There you go, 100 watts. So here we go. And I've never vaped at 100 watts. To be honest, let's get the focus right for his car. 
There we go. Dense plumes of vapour. Seventy thirty juice. It's a hundred watts. A bit too warm for me. I like it. I like it at eighty watts. But the coil, it's still it's no burning whatsoever. The coil can take some power. It really can take some power. Uh, I've never seen a, I've never used a coil like it to be honest. Uh, a pre-built coil that is. It, it's you know I'm going to knock it down now back down to my normal. I can all day vape it at 80 watts, and it's really nice at 80 watts. 70 to 80 watts, really nice, really, really nice. 80 watts, it says. That's shut here. I have the, uh, I have it at 80 watts, and I have the airflow on the drip tip closed off and fully open at the bottom. Lovely. Fucking how my ladies can go fucking spare. <laughs> anyway, that's the mock TF4 V4. Uh, let me just get you a close up of this here, uh, because it's not laser. It's not laser etched. This it's it's engraved at the top, and then you got TF V4 laser etched at the bottom. But the smock branding is uh, engraved. It's nice engraving too. So. That's the TFV4 guys, uh, single kit. Like I said, they're having problems with the, uh, the with the quad coil. So I mean, obviously with the other kit, it's supposedly including the quad coil. There are some vendors including an extra triple coil instead of the quad coil in the kit, in the full kit that is. Uh, but this is available as a single kit. Uh, what I've shown you in the video today from boldvape.co.uk, priced at twenty-two pounds and ninety pence including delivery it's a, honestly that's a steal for this tank it's absolute steal uh let's have a look how much the uh coils are for this i think the coils are let me just check now no accessories uh atomizers replacement coils I think John Bold at boldbait.co.uk did have some in. I'm not sure if they're on his website at the moment. Uh, when I last looked, they weren't. So I couldn't give you any pricing. Oh, yes, spare coils are. Triple uh, coils are £17.94. Uh, a pack of five coils now he's got uh, prices on there of uh, uh, the five pack of uh, triple coils are £17.90 the uh, quad coils when they become available he hasn't got a price on the dual RBA is £6.65 and the single RBA is £6.25 and uh, the RBA, the single RBA is due in stock on the 28th, 29th of July. Uh, the dual RBA is due in around the 31st of July. And the triple coil is due in stock 28th, 29th of July. Uh, the TFV4, that's still to be confirmed, obviously, because of the, the manufacturing problems they're having with that coil. So that's the TFV4, the TFV4 guys. Uh, sub home tank from Smock. Thanks for watching the review. I hope you've got what you needed out of the review. And uh, vape on and vape safe. And I just want to say any comments on the video or, you know, I'm, I don't disable the comments on my, on my YouTube vi videos. Uh, I, I, uh, I do delete spam, spammy messages from it. But if you want to, if you leave a comment under the video or, or you can catch me on the approved vapors facebook group which i am admin on along with five other guys uh, six other guys and uh, 
I'm also available on the Vapors of Stoke-on-Trent Facebook group as well. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next review. Thank you.